Are you thinking about running ads, but you're just not sure if you're ready for it? Well, good, you're at the right spot. In this video, we're gonna talk about just that. We're gonna talk about the three criteria that you need to have in place before you start running paid advertising. So before we get into today's video, if you could smash that subscribe button, that would be awesome. That allows me to create more content like this for online coaches and clinicians that wanna get more online coaching clients. So there's three criteria that you need to have before you start running paid advertising. And the first one's really simple. The first one is we need to have a proven offer and sales process. There's this kind of sub criteria underneath this. One is that the proven offer needs to be above $1,000 in, in lifetime value. And the reason for this is that it's gonna cost you a few hundred dollars to acquire a client. So if you're doing month to month coaching, then you are, might be out a few hundred dollars for a month or two before you make profit. Knowing that your offer needs to be in that one to $5,000 range and you're asking for the paid in full up front is going to allow you to be cash positive on the front end. So we've got to have a proven offer and we also need a proven sales system, which is going to be how do we enroll clients? What do we say on the phone? How do we book the calls? How do we enroll them? That's got to be concrete. We know we have completed stage one or criteria one when we've got at least 10 clients who are paying at least a thousand to five thousand dollars for a coaching package and we have enrolled them and we have a really good process for that. So if you have that, great, you can check off box one. It's time to move to criteria two. All right, so criteria two is that you have at least a thousand dollars a month that you can put into an ad, ad budget. With this, we need to have the thousand dollars be running for at least three months. So really we wanna have about $3,000 at minimum set aside and you have to be comfortable not getting return on the first really three months like put the money in there and just let it work for you because it is going to take time for you to optimize the campaigns see what's working before you like scale and get like a massive return so know that when you're getting started honestly a lot of times the goal is can i get a a one times return on ad spend right just to get started that means it's working but we haven't optimized it yet so if i spend three thousand can i get three thousand back cool i'm on to something now how can i tweak this to get a two to three to upwards of five times return on investment. I've seen some campaigns will do closer to 10. They're doing a lot more messenger campaigns and it's a lot more manual. Like there's a lot more outreach. There's a lot more connection that's happening, follow-ups, et cetera. But ideally we're, we're gonna be in that two to three times return on ad spend. That's a really sweet spot. But when we're getting started, especially in the first three months, we might have we might just break even. And we've gotta be okay with that. So again, for, for step two, we've gotta have a thousand bucks aside and at minimum, and we're gonna run that thousand bucks a month for at least three months and be okay with not making a return immediately. If you're there, great, check that off, and it's time to go to the final criteria. So the final criteria, as crazy it may, as it may sound, is that your team can fulfill on more clients. Are your processes and systems going to work at scale? And a lot of this comes down to productizing your offer. Right? So when someone signs up, what is the SOP or standard operating procedure you have in place for somebody to, to onboard them and get them through the journey? What is your client experience? So all that needs to be outlined because as you grow, especially where you have cold people coming in, cold traffic coming into your funnel, you know, they're expecting a really good product. And if your product isn't good, it's gonna be really hard for you to market and sell. So we've gotta have that fulfillment piece dialed in and your team's gotta have the bandwidth to take on more clients. Because unlike with organic, organic, people are coming in. It's almost like, it's like, it's like rain, right? Like it kind of rains whenever it wants to rain. But with paid ads, they're coming in. So as long as your paid advertising campaign is on, you should be getting leads. So do you have the bandwidth to continue to scale and sign up people? I'm gonna be honest, like it's not really good to have a campaign that's just gonna run for a month and you turn it off. Like that's not really, you're not really gonna give the campaign time to nurture and mature and find the right people for you. So if you're going into paid advertising, you do want the ability to scale and you wanna have fulfillment processes and standard operating procedures in place for okay, when a lead comes in, this is what happens because your team's gonna grow. You're gonna need to hire sales reps, you're gonna need to hire more coaches and it's just gonna grow. So you need to be in a place where you're ready to really grow. So those are the really the three main criteria and uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna limit it to that because I, I'm a huge fan and believer in paid advertising 
And I think a lot of people wait too long to get started, but it is going to be the way for you to get brand awareness, especially when you're starting out, right? It could be campaigns that are designed just to have a freebie or a lead magnet that just that gets more eyes on your brand and, and, and builds your email list, builds your subscribers, builds your following. All of that's really valuable. Too often people wait until, I don't know, they're making like 20K a month, 10, 15, 20K a month, when like in reality, you can start once you have at least 10 clients, a proven sales process, and you have capital to put aside. So if you're new to business and you don't have any capital from other ventures, it's probably best to spend your time doing outbound messaging, organic content until you get to that you know, 10K, closer to 10K a month. If you're gonna get into a brand new business and you've already got a proof of concept, you've got the systems in place, all this, you can start running ads sooner than later. And I would recommend that. You just need to make sure you're putting the right ads in front of the right people and you know how to do that. So uh, yeah, that's my three criteria. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and link uh, at the end of this video here. There is gonna be a training that's going to be walking through uh, how I set up paid ads. So you can watch that video in more detail. It's specifically designed for online coaches and clinicians that wanna grow and scale online. And uh, it's a really unique way of running advertisements that's going to start conversation with prospects to where you can push to call. So go check out that training and thank you guys for tuning in today.